Hey folks, welcome to John Tippin Racing and uh, today we've uh, been absolutely blessed with my, uh, 2017 World Champion coming in for a visit, Jason Norway, it's great to catch up again. Mate. Different camp, going from Motor X to JTR here and of course uh, mate, uh, they've been looking after you for a long, long time and uh, you must be very appreciative of all the time that John puts in with you. Yeah, that's it. I'm up here in Queensland at the moment, I'm um, just seeing the Tippin family and it's nice to come up and, and see your sponsors while I'm back in Australia. I've um, been back for the last two weeks so it's nice to come see the sponsors and, and see the nice uh, the weather that um, we're missing in England at the moment. We've certainly turned it on for you, that's for sure. A little bit warmer here in Brisbane today. Yeah, it is a little bit warmer than what I'm used to. I think outside's 37 and um, there's a lot of bushfires around in Newcastle so up in Queensland at the moment it's a little bit safer and I'm going to be enjoying my time back, but um, this heat needs to, to drop a little bit. Season was a little bit tougher this year. Yeah, it was. Um, not so much in the league racing. A lot of um, people don't really see the league racing scores. Um, I, I thought I'd done quite well in Poland, Sweden, and England. Uh, the Grand Prix weren't going so well um, up until the last three Grand Prix, where I changed engine tunes again and um, felt like I was back on pace. So. I think next year we're going to start pretty strong. I've got new guys um, in the kit in the camp with the mechanics, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to this year. So we'll see what goes. 2020, what's it holding for you? It's going to hold a lot. I hope. Um, I, I want to be world champion again. Um, I've got another good, I reckon, 10 years left in me, so I need to start pushing for a few more world titles. And it's possible. I need to um, have the right people around me, which I do now. It's uh, all about trying to put them puzzles into place, and I think I have done that with the. the that I've got with um, two new Polish boys who are working with me in, um, in England. Uh, sorry, in, in Poland, but uh, the same English mechanic I'll have as well. So it's a, it's a tough year. Um, I've done 87 meetings this year with a few times on Ryanair flights, um, probably about 100 flights as well. So it's, it's a tough and demanding sport, but uh, we enjoy it. And the biggest thing is coming home um, to be injury free, I was pretty good. I had a a little bit of an operation, but that was an, an old injury that I had two years ago. So it's it's nice to come back with no broken bones and, and see the family. Mate, uh, as a champion, you sit back and look at these young blokes that are coming through. Do you see any future for the Australian riders coming through that are coming over to England? Yeah, there's a lot of really good young kids coming from Australia, but it's kind of died off a little bit. Um, I went and watched an under 21 meeting the other week, and. It's a bit sad that you see Queenslanders in a state title of a New South Wales state title, but it's the speedway now. It's um it's not as strong as it was, but there's still a lot of talent coming from from Australia. Hopefully, maybe these boys in another five years will make it to where we are and it will make Australia back on top again. So at the moment, it's a little bit down, but there's a lot of young young kids coming through. When's training start again for you? Yeah, I'd start I'd mid mid February, I reckon. I'll go back to to doing training. Our stuff is um, pretty much cardio based and trying to get fit on the bike again. But when we're riding so much, we don't really need to um, to be at the gym. We just need to be trying to focus on on the eating right and, and trying to stay as light as possible. And that's the main thing about racing in speedway. This stone and age, stone age, you need to be as light as possible, and it's it's quite demanding on the body. And when will the season kick off? Um, we're not going to start maybe until um, the end of March. Um, Poland doesn't start till later, Sweden about the same time, it's in May as well. And then the Grand Prix are in the 15th of, of uh, May as well. So I've got a lot of uh, time to, to recover. Um, like I said before, I've had a bicep operation where they reattached um, a torn, a torn uh, tendon off, off the bone. And hopefully that's going to be four, four to six weeks before I'm allowed to start on the training again. Let's hope we can get Australia back on the calendar, that'll be fantastic. Yeah, that's another thing that we're, we're really missing, myself, Chris, and, and Max, what are in the Grand Prix. Um, we do miss the Australian Grand Prix, which um, when they sadly dropped Eddie Gad um, or down in Melbourne, it was quite tough on us guys because we really enjoy coming back to Australia and, and being in front of the Australian fans, which we don't get get to do unless you do the Australian titles. And I'm probably uh, going to sit out the Australian titles this year and, and not ride in. Um, Aussie for another couple of years, but hopefully the Grand Prix are back uh, in the following 2020 season. Mate, it's always great to catch up with you. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Jason Doyle.